Do you want your customers to be able to order your products in bulk? My name is Slavin Marinov. I'm the founder of a company called Orbisius. We are behind many WordPress plugins, web services, web apps, and so on. In this demo, I'm going to show you a premium plugin that we've developed. It's called Quick Order for WooCommerce. It allows you to include multiple products on one page and people can order them in bulk. They can specify the quantity and just hit Add to Cart and they're good to go. How it works, you need to install the plugin and you need to create a page and you need to paste a shortcode. I can walk you through all that process in a minute. In this demo, I'm assuming that you have already installed WooCommerce and added some product that you want to sell. For this demo, I have used the default data, which is the sample data that comes with WooCommerce. Here's how the end result will look like. The pricing's on the left, and there's quantity box. Here, we have a variable product, and each variation is displayed separately. Sometimes the variations are priced differently. For example, 35 and 30. And that's the second snippet of code that gets included, and that is from a different category. Okay, so let's go to the plugin. You can install the plugin like you would normally from Add New and then Upload. Then you need to go to Settings page, and here you can configure it. So the first option allows you to have the price displayed in, in its own column. That's one option. And the second option is if you have variable products, if you can show them before the quantity box. That way your customers will know exactly how much they're paying for each variation. I recommend that you use this option. And it's, it's very convenient. Here you can display the, the product ID or the SKU number, whichever you prefer. And sometimes you may need to add a new line after a variation. Done. Can click Save Changes. You can either display all of the products. Here are some examples. If you want to display all of the products without limits, you can use the minus one option past to the limit parameter. If you want 25, you can limit to the number of products that are shown to 25. By default, we're limiting them to 100 products. Here, you can select a category. And also, you can, again, specify the limit. In order to generate a shortcode for a given category, you can use this drop-down menu. You can pick music. And the last shortcode gets changed. You can switch to different ones. Let's copy this. Go to Pages, Add New, press Control V to paste. You don't have to have it bold here. And let's put it under Shop, and click Publish. Let's view the page, and here we see all the products from that given category. Let's actually order something. So add one. Four, actually let's put it five, and then one from the logo, and two, the Woo Ninja. Let's click on Add to Cart, and here we see our cart, which shows the selected quantities and the totals. The user needs to proceed to checkout, and, and that's it. Simple as that. 